Well, this rainy and icy Valentine's Day Eve, definitely not ideal conditions for date night at all. Live Witness News reporter Alicia Reed live in South Jersey with a look at how those who did venture out are doing and managing. Alicia. Good evening, Joe. I think we got spoiled over the last couple of winters with barely any precipitation, and this winter is making up for it. Icicles, frozen over vehicles, and slippery roadways. It's been slipping everywhere, and I don't think there's enough salt, honestly, out on the road. Salt trucks are making their way around town, but icy conditions extend beyond that. I think it's kind of cool, but it's, I mean, at the same time, I have to keep getting out and breaking the ice off of the, breaking the ice off of the, um, wipers. yeah, wipers. With a thin layer of ice covering his entire sedan, this Wawa employee had a difficult time getting his car cleaned. There's black ice in parking lots and on sidewalks. Slipped and fell back. Thank God I grabbed myself because back of my head was just, just barely touching. You know what I mean? Icy conditions didn't stop lovebirds from kicking off Valentine's weekend with a night on the town. I didn't think it was going to be as bad until we actually got on the road, and that's when we realized, oh my goodness, it's, it's really uh, icy out here. So we just took our time. It's been a year since Samira and her husband Vincent came out to enjoy indoor dining, so they took extra precautions to be safe. You know, you know what to do when you drive. You got to use common sense. You know, like we do here in the northeastern part of the country, and just, you know, take your time. You should be all right. Some are holding on to hope better weather is around the corner. I'm just wishing for a really nice summer to make up. <laughs> now, according to the groundhog, we have quite a way to go. Now, my photographer, Jake, tonight took quite a tumble. Uh, it looked like the pavement was just wet. But in actuality, it was black ice. So if anyone's going out tonight, if you plan on celebrating this weekend, please slow down and be careful out there. Reporting live from Cherry Hill, New Jersey, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Alicia and Jake, thank you for that report.